Right, um, in my previous video I started off talking about this insulation and whether or not it burns and I completely forgot at the end of the video to show you and talk about this stuff and what it does when you set light to it. So uh, the big question, as it go? <laughs> to burn or not to burn? This is the question. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. Anyway, without further ado, let's find out if it burns. The simple way to find that out is to get some of this, get one of these, all that kind of that didn't work, did it? If you can get your lighter to work, we can find out, Mel. Oh, there we go. Right. So this is what happens. Nothing. It goes out. Look. Set the light to it again. It goes out. But what happens if you hold the flame on for a long time? I mean, obviously, it's not um, super flammable at this stage. Oh, and by the way, kids, don't try this at home. All right. I'm a trained expert. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> so here we go, look. If I hold the lighter there long enough, <sighs> it will actually catch fire. There you go. So the answer is, yes, it does burn. Just not very easily. If I hold it up like that, it will go out, which it should do. Oops, pardon me. <laughs> You don't get that on the BBC. <laughs> so, the answer to the question is, yes, it does burn. <laughs> oh, it smells bad. And so does this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, okay, serious face. So it does burn, right? So that's why I don't put my wires behind my walls. Because I don't want it anywhere near this stuff basically now the only time wires do actually come into contact with this are the ones in the ceiling for like the electricals um, lights so the lights wires are actually inside a, be inside a conduit and when they run along the length of the van I actually pin these wires in the original places where the, the original wires for the van run so it's all generally safe so to speak so the wires are running along with the original van wires in the original clips to stop it rubbing anywhere just purely for safety really so uh, yeah all my heavy duty wires like my battery battery wires um, split charge relay solar controller um, if I have an inverter still undecided I probably will get an inverter for me um just for charging really charging laptops and power tools and stuff i'm gonna need an inverter for that but yeah that aside all those type of things i keep them out in the open or where i can easily access them where i can easily like just lift a lid or whatever and have a look and see it um i see so many youtube videos with all people where they put all their electrics up underneath their bed i mean they don't sit right with me at all i don't want to jinx anyone but why would you do that? I want my electrics where I can see them out in the open um, to a certain extent. Okay, so just purely for two reasons safety and safety. Okay, because that's kind of gone around. Well, I'm all about safety. You only get one shot at this. So, uh, yeah, big sigh here. <laughs> Um, yeah, I can't overemphasize it. Safety is paramount. Um, I mean, the whole point of this stealthy van life and everything, stealthy camping, living the dream, is to live a life. So, the last thing you want, the last thing I'd want, is for anyone to have an accident and for it to be ended. You know, I mean, that would just be so tragic. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm making this video because you know I just want to warn people that this stuff does burn, all right. So please be careful with it if you're going to use it. It's good insulation, but um, yeah, just be careful, be wary of it. I'm surprised they're allowed to put it in houses actually because I thought 
houses have certain regulations and stuff. But yeah, they do. So there you go, it goes in people's lofts. Um, but I'm not knocking it because it is really easy to work with. Just bear that in mind that it's, yeah, it's um, it's flammable basically. It's not, it's not super flammable. I don't know what sort of tests they do, how they test it, but I'll show you again. This is how I test it. It's not rocket science. Do it again just to show it one a fluke. Look, put the flame in there. It goes out. So to a certain extent, it is um, flame retardant, but it's still flammable because if you hold the, the can, the, the thing underneath. There you go. That nearly got me. <laughs> so it goes out. I mean, it does go out eventually. But at the same time, once it gets going, there's no going out. It will keep going. Oh, and you can hear it. <sighs> yeah. Pff, oh, I smell bad. It does smell. <laughs> Get a good smoke alarm. And I think you'll beat that if ever, if ever you're unfortunate enough for that to happen to you. Because that, oh, that's, that's, that's like um, really acidic. Yeah, that's bad. That can't be good. So I'm wondering how bad that is for the environment. So, yeah, I'm glad they're recycling it and using it for this. Which is about all it's good for, really, I guess. Which is good for us, us fan dwellers. There you go. Um, yeah, so. It burns at the end of the day so if you like this video give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel hit subscribe hit notification and you won't miss any of the action <laughs> and if you're already a subscriber good on ya see you later